uh, Alan was, uh, 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 you know, a, a very good manager for me at the time uh, in my career that I was because more than anything, I think he was a mentor, and he really uh, took care to work with junior folks and make sure that they were integrated into what was happening uh, and that they had they had senior people to work with and. Uh, uh, you know, everybody that knows him knows that Alan was a very uh, uh, gracious and sharing person, and uh, and uh, still is today, of course. The lab was a model um, of uh, of a lot of different organizations. I think there were a lot of different organizations that modeled themselves after the lab. Uh, you know, and uh, to include the connection uh, between the lab and Intergraph, for example, with David Sinton. But I think nowhere is there a stronger connection than there than between ESRI and the lab. I mean, even though there are only a few of us that ended up working here, uh, Jack Dangerman was very much involved in the activities at the lab and attended all the summer users conferences. So he was very much attuned to what the lab was like, and and I think used aspects of that in the model of what a software company should be. Uh, for instance. Uh, as I mentioned, the um, lab distributed databases, uh, prepared distributed databases. We still do that at ESRI today. The lab created software products. We still do that today. The lab did R&D related to cartography. Uh, we still do that here at ESRI today. Uh, the lab had a summer conference. ESRI has a big one. Uh, the lab had a had a prototyping area. We we have one at ESRI. The lab had a documentation unit and was interested in uh, in uh, in presenting information in book form and uh, keeping track of research papers. and And again, ESRI Press represents that uh, to uh, to this to this present time. Now, the Harvard Graphics uh, conferences were extremely exciting and. Uh, uh, people from all over the world, um, the best um, research minds uh, of their time really were at these conferences. And they were mixed with uh, business people and software users and university people. Uh, so they came together in, a, in an environment that, um, that was very, I think, academically uh, beneficial. Um, there were... Um, you know, there were smaller sessions, but then there were also large plenary sessions. I remember once um, that I was presenting a paper in, in one of the plenary sessions, which was the first time I'd been in front of an audience of several hundred people. And who was the other presenter next to me was a man named Jack Dangerman. <laughs> and so I, that was actually where I met Jack for the first time, was on a panel at the, uh, at the Harvard Graphics Week.